Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Gooden. I'm a pediatric anesthesiologist and associate professor of anesthesiology and pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Today we're going to discuss a recent intubation of a four-year-old, 17-kilogram female with a history of Pierre Urban sequence who presented for cleft palate repair. She had a known difficult airway and at the age of three, mandibular distraction was scheduled, but canceled due to a failed intubation. We successfully intubated using the GlideScope Cobalt AVL with a number two stat. It's amazing. Yeah. This case presented several challenges. Advancing the blade around the redundant soft tissue was particularly difficult. In this patient, direct laryngoscopy was tried unsuccessfully on first attempt. We scissor open the mouth and do a midline insertion with the laryngoscope. No need to sweep the tongue. A shoulder roll was utilized to improve the view. We then opted to use a glide scope with a number one stat because of the patient's small mouth opening and her severe micronathia. Not obtaining the optimal view for intubation, we then decided to use the number two stat. This offered a better view, but was met with challenges for insertion of the endotracheal tube. Successful intubation was achieved. So here are some tips that I would like to share for successful use of the GlideScope Pediatric Video Laryngoscope. Insert the blade midline. Do not sweep the tongue. Avoid going too deep with the blade as this can worsen the view. Use a semi-rigid stylet to shape the endotracheal tube. Insert the endotracheal tube parallel to the blade, enabling successful placement into the glottis. And of course, practice is important and it's a good idea to start with a normal pediatric airway.